Today I'm working on this pastel cutie with a bit of inspiration from Lucky Charms marshmallows. So the materials are pretty basic for any doll customizers um, and I will have them listed in the box below. I start off by blushing. I go under the chin, the forehead, and the ears uh, with an orange and pink mix. I use light pink on the cheeks and brighter colors for the eyeshadow. And I continue to build up these colors. When I start on the eyes, I use a hot pink uh, to start out with kind of the eyeshadow, giving them a bit of a cat eye. I also use it on the bottom. Um, and I try a light blue as the inner corner highlights, but I end up really disliking that and choosing a yellow instead. I'm using a light cobalt blue in the middle, which kind of gives it a purple effect. So it goes from yellow to purple to pink. And it gives it a really cool, pretty effect, I feel. use pastels first for the eyebrows. I prefer starting with a base color and then going in with my pencils to sketch the individual hair. Uh, I also blurred the apple white naked body. I don't know why I stuck her there in frame, but I just was like, okay, I'll blur it. I finally decided on red lips. Since her color palette was bright colors, I wanted something that wouldn't stand out too much. 
and red seemed to kind of fit the bill. It wasn't too light, it wasn't really too dark, it just kind of is. And then here, if you notice her face is shiny, it's because the sealant wasn't curing properly. I was actually holding the can way too close to her face, so it was being overly saturated and not actually distributing evenly, so it made the face shiny and it made it really hard to work with. So once I discovered that, I was good and could spray it without hindrance. sprayed a layer of sealant that cured properly it was able to work on the eyes and especially the whites of the eyes and getting them really opaque and start on the blue and just shaping her general look in her eyes <music> Start on the pupils. Uh, I use purple over the blue to give her the, the darker color for the pupils, but not use black as I was going with kind of a lighter color scheme. And uh, I use my white pencil in the blue area a little bit with my eraser to smudge it to give it kind of a lighter effect, which um, I really like looking at it. I think it makes it look a little bit better. Um, so I kept working on the whites of the eyes too because I don't like to use acrylics, so I just use my pencil over and over and over until I get it pretty opaque and I feel like my white actually does get pretty opaque so I really like these pencils. So here's where I started drawing on those Lucky Charm shapes. Um, her hair reminded me of Lucky Charms marshmallows and 
So I was like, okay, I'll just draw those on, make her look really cute, and went with the rest of the look. And then, well, when you see the whole thing, you'll see that the only thing Lucky Charms about her really is the fact that I drew them on her face. But you know, I'm, I'm living with it, you know? If I want to redo her face up later, maybe I will, but I'm going to live with it. I think it's cute. It looks like little stickers or something. I put some gloss over them. So, but this is the start of it where I started with pencils, but they weren't really fleshing out and it eventually ended up going over with acrylics. And I remember I had to really, really work on the star. The star took me forever. Um, Cause it's, I, for some reason it's a really hard shape for me. I also really feel like the horseshoe I drew kind of looks like a weird purple bat, which I'm here for. Just saying if any, wondering if anybody else sees it too, or maybe like a little bird. Kind of weird, but it's cute. varnish over the eyes, the marshmallows, and lips. And I decided not to add fake lashes to keep her looking a bit youthful. And honestly, I feel like the way I styled her, she's kind of got a JoJo vibe looking to her. I don't know if anybody else sees that, but I do. So I did the majority of the sewing off camera. Um, the shirt and the pants I made my own little pattern for, but the socks, I just cut them from an old sock and I just made sure they had a pointy toe to kind of help it fit. So, and then I just sewed them together. And um, unlike stockings, you can kind of adjust them a little bit better, um, but the, the problem is that they are a little thick, so it made it really hard to do shoes. I did, I made shoes for the first time on this doll and I think they look horrible, but, you know, I tried. <laughs> I ended up putting her head back on and styled her hair a little off camera. I was able to finish the hair cutting and frame. I just did an easy ponytail and an A-frame bang look. Um, I also added a few extras afterwards because she looked a little plain to me. Um, I added a bow, I added a nice little heart, and some bracelets, and I did the shoes. I did not record doing the shoes because it was, it was bad. But, yeah, I, I feel like they came out okay overall, but here she is. Yeah. 